Hi, it's Brian from iSpring with another iSpring Quizmaker tutorial. This time we're going to talk about feedback messages. I've created a multiple choice question about Oscar winners for this example. Let's start by going to the quiz properties. Here you can set default feedback for all graded questions in the quiz based on correct, incorrect, and partially correct answers. These buttons will overwrite any custom feedback messages you may have applied in the quiz. Unchecking this option will disable feedback for any new questions you add, but won't erase any custom feedback you've already entered. You can also choose whether your users get feedback instantly after each question, or after the entire quiz is over. Remember, if you do select Submit All at once, make sure to activate your results slides, and enable quiz review, so your users can skip back and see the feedback at the end. Now looking at our specific question, we can choose a custom feedback message per question, or even based on specific answer choices. This option works for multiple choice, yes, no, and pick one question types. For any feedback window, you can add and format text, bulleted lists, and even hyperlinks to web pages or email for more information. Let's see how this looks in action. I'll pick a wrong answer first. As you can see, the quiz provides specific information about the particular Oscar winner I chose. Going to the quiz review, the information is still available for me. And I guess I just wouldn't feel right unless I aced the quiz, so let me try that again. And there it is. Specific feedback about the amazing Walt Disney. And there you have it, folks. Now go forth and feed back like a maxed out mic.